train! Everything's changed! Stop! Oh no, they can't hear me. They'll die because of me. Station Master's when Cabin. Opening no is forbidden. Press the space bar if you want to see some magic, even though life isn't like typewriting. Press the space bar and you're gonna see. You don't need Driver, did you lose your key? Pay for the replacement. All in all, Life is just about finding the right key. Listen, comrade, hear me though I'm trash. Train driver's cabinet. Open at your own risk. When you're lost, there's no need to be Vanya, you're dumb and stupid, but you know I love you, so if you forget the combination again, call me. Life isn't writing. Press the space bar and you're gonna see. Four. Two. Zero. Hello? It's me, Vanya. Oh, it's you. I didn't recognize you. Your voice sounds different. You were eating pickles again, weren't you? Huh? Uh, no, I wasn't. Uh, listen, this is very urgent. Mom? Did, did you just call me your mom? Oh, you're drunk. You're at work. And you know that... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I didn't drink anything. So you were eating pickles after all. I knew it! You're sleeping on the couch tonight. Uh, okay, okay. But now I need the combination to my lock. It's my birthday. I'm kidding. Don't worry, Vanya. I want to do that to you. Seven, seven, seven. Will you remember that? Three, seven. And don't worry about the pickles. You'll feel better in the evening. Uh, thank you. Time's a-wasting, so... A-wasting? You're talking funny! Vanya, you want to hear what I'll do to you in bed tonight? My furry wolverine? <laughs> oh, I'll call you later. Uh, bye! Listen, come For emergencies only. And the correct combination is... 777. Seven, seven. Yes, it worked! A shortwave radio. Maybe I can contact the train driver. Listen, comrade, hear me though I'm tragic. The leader's words can show you how... Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yes, Comrade Minister, sir. Stop the train immediately! But, uh, Comrade Leader, for the... Uh, the situation has changed. Just a few days ago, I wouldn't have dreamt I'd be in a situation like this. I was a simple young journalist back then speaking at an international conference on the beautiful idea that is communism. Good day, sir. Sorry, uh, there's no entry here. The program is live. And uh, good day to you too, sir. Uh, while I appreciate your diligence, I am one of the speakers. I'm afraid I'm tardy, but I really must get inside. Uh, my speech is a glorious message that will enlighten and empower the good folks here. Mr. Tardy, eh? I find it strange that you're afraid of your own name, but let me check the list. Uh, no, no, I'm tardy, not I'm tardy. I'm Kowalski, Evan Kowalski, and I'm tardy. I'm sorry, I, I don't have a Mr. Kowalski or a Mr. Tardy on the list of speakers. My speech fits the theme of the conference perfectly, since it's about communism and... But what? I, I must be on that list. Uh, besides, I, I received an invitation from you. Please, show it to me and we can clear all of this up. Hmm. 
That is indeed an invitation from us. I told you. Please accept my apologies. I was not informed there was a schedule change. Uh, I think I can squeeze you in during the coffee break. Please proceed to the stage. Thank you. Oh, and don't worry. While you're walking across the stage, our producer will definitely be playing commercials. Good morning. My name is Sean Redkick, and I represent the people of New Pork. Blood Red Socialism is pouring in across the borders of our world. We can't just stand idly by and watch as the enemies of freedom undo what our fathers fought for. We're not gonna watch men die face down in the muck in this bloody war on the peninsula so that the Red Invasion can secretly pour into our country. Communist evil. Uh, communist evil. Psst, is really good at its core. Thanks. Communist evil is really good at its core. Yeah, I mean, no! Evil is evil at its core. That's what evil is. As we all know, enemy intelligence agents have infiltrated our country. They could even be here right now in our midst. Like, for example, right there. Or over there. Maybe you're one. Or your lovely wife there. Yeah. She could definitely be one. She's got that commie look, all right. Or you, you, or you, yes, you, are a communist spy, a sleeper agent working in the shadows. And such agents, uh... They need our support. Yes, they need our support. Let's organize a fundraiser. Ooh, ooh, uh, we could have a bake sale. Uh, no, what am I saying? Spies are evil. Agents are evil. Evil is evil. I urge you all to stay vigilant. And even the smallest symptom, the barest hint of communist activity, should be reported to the authorities immediately. In closing, I would like to... You wanted to thank me. In closing, I would like to thank my prompter, who tried so hard to ruin my presentation. As I've just been informed by our producer, instead of our planned break, we will have an unplanned guest. It just so happens I have already had the displeasure of being smeared in his rag of a newspaper. I'm sure you'll all love him. Ladies and gentlemen, Evan Kowalski. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. Empty frame. Hurry up. People are waiting for the speech to begin. You know, I am prepared to give a slide presentation, and at the risk of you calling me Mr. Prepared, <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that there's no canvas on the projector screen. Mr. Kowalski, please understand you weren't on the list, so we didn't receive any instructions regarding your needs. Fortunately, we are professionals, so I have some canvas right here. There will be a break soon, and someone will install it. No, no, uh, no need for a break. I'll put it up myself in no time. The working class of the cities and farms isn't afraid of a little hard work. As you wish. Here you go, the projector canvas. Okay, I'm going back to the stage. I still need to show the slides.
<laughs> Dang, there's something wrong with the screen. for my speech. Damn, my whole speech is out of order. Did it. And my teacher said I had cognitive issues. Good morning, comrades. Those in the studio and those watching at home. If you're thinking, where have I seen this dapper gentleman before, then perhaps you were in Booniesville several days ago at the HASP Manufacturers Conference, where I spoke about the responsibility of the working class in building a single class society. A little about me. My name is Evan Kowalski, and I am the editor-in-chief of the Daily Worker Monthly. Uh, by the way, I highly recommend buying a subscription. I have come here today, quite unexpectedly, with a very important, exciting ideological message. Communism is good. In fact, communism is the best. Boo! 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 There is no room in our country for communism. Boo! Shut your commie mouth, Evan. Boo! Get lost! <laughs> now, gentlemen, there's no need to get angry. Are you telling our viewers that poor people shouldn't have more money? Do you hate the poor? Are you against the idea that every human being is equally important and entitled to a fair chance? Are we not all humanitarians? I won't be part of this farce. And there, you see? He runs away using his costly running shoes. Do the poor not deserve to run? I wonder if one of my other colleagues will engage me in a debate. I'm interested to see how they will claim that education, culture, and industry is not in our common national good, and how every citizen should not have the same equal rights to reap their benefits? Enough! Ha! See? That's what I thought. No one's brave enough for such a challenging discussion. Okay, then. Let's move on to the powerful beacon that is... Beautiful Matryoshka. Located just behind the Iron Curtain between the Capitalist Union and the Socialist Alliance. Boo! Get off the stage! Uh, Matryoshka Boo! serves as a shining example of communism Boo! done right. Get off the stage, Kami! Boo! All glory and honor belongs to the leader who infallibly and confidently leads his nation towards a bright future. Boo! Get out of here before I burn the building down! I'm picking up on a little tension in the room, so, uh, how about a joke? Uh, uh what would we have in the States if we didn't have capitalism? Everything! I'm at the meeting of the party. Make it quick. Glory to Matryoshka, comrade leader. Ah, Major Orlova. How's your uh, vacation at Uncle Sam? More fruitful than ever. Please turn on the capitalist channel, comrade leader. What the hell? Comrade leader. <sighs> I see you found me a very interesting souvenir. Bring him to me at once. Yes, comrade leader. For the glory of Matryoshka.
in the leader's heart. Uh, in conclusion to this undoubtedly illuminating speech, I will tell you, comrades, my greatest wish, that one day our nations will join together and goose step, I, I mean, uh, march uh, together in the one true direction towards a stronger state, joined together with Matryoshka. Stop the program! I thank you, comrades, for your attention, and I wish you a good day. Wonderful presentation. The Matryoshkin authorities are impressed with your work. As am I. Uh, oh, uh, thank you, Miss... Uh... I'm Anna. Anna Iglov. Someone will contact you once you get home. In case of any emergency, this envelope will help you contact me. We'll meet again soon, Comrade Evan. Anna. Authorities. Envelope. Wait, what? Oh, you're back. How did it go? It went great. Well, up until I started. Then everyone just laughed. As usual. Oh, uh, by the way, some tomatoes should be arriving soon. So, that's something. Oh, uh, you had a call from Matryoshka. Your mother memorized the number. They said you should call them back. Oh, one more thing. You remember that record, the Sandwich March? Yeah? What about it? I've decided that... Since I'm a man now, I'm too old for that kind of music. I gave it to the cab driver as a tip. You... you... That was a rare limited edition pressing. It was worth hundreds of dollars. Oh. I see. Huh. Really? Well, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. And this man just lost hundreds of dollars. <laughs> well, I suppose just don't worry about it. And chin up. You were great on TV. Hi, how was the conference? A nice girl came to hear me speak, and she said she loved it. It turned out she was from... Patryoshka! And she said they'd heard about me there. Do you understand? About me! I also got an envelope from her that was sealed with Matryoshka's coat of arms! Hmm, that must be a very important envelope. Well, it sounds like you had quite the day. A speech and a new friend. Uh, Dad said someone called for me? Oh, yes. They were calling for Matryoshka and said you can call them back at 007-1234. Oh! And give them the password, Zagrislav. Thanks, Mom. I need to take care of a few things. Thanks to this book, I'll be able to see Matryoshka with my own eyes one day. Zero, zero, seven, one, two, three, four. Quiet. Huh, no signal. Dad, when I dial the number to Matryoshka, nothing happens. The phone's dead and there's no signal. Go check if the international switchboard in the basement is malfunctioning.
So the raccoon jumped on the switchboard and messed up the cables, but I think I've got it fixed. Zero, zero, seven, one, two, three, four. Hello? This is Evan. Password. The Grizzisloth. Yes, correct. That is the current password. If we want to continue this conversation, you need to place near the phone, since this is an official conversation, a photo of the leader. Uh, okay, uh, give me just a second. I'm back, and I have the picture, sir. I mean, officer, sir. Comrade? Uh, right, officer, sir, uh, comrade. Of course. Okay, let's not drag this out. This is not a cheap call. The leader has heard about your presentation and invites you to travel to Matryoshka in express time. Do you accept, comrade? Our attaché will contact you immediately regarding this matter. Do you accept our invitation, comrade? Oh, oh my, I am... Hello? Dad, the phone's dead again. Go down to the basement and give that damn switchboard a kick. Hello? And who are you? <laughs> My dad is a big fan. Zero. Four. Zero. Two. Eight. One. Mrs. Kowalski. Yes? FIA. FIA? The French Intelligence Agency. Oh, I see. No, ma'am. The Overseeing Infiltration Center does not handle the kind of situation we have here. What situation? That's exactly why we are here. There has been unauthorized communication with Matryoshka coming from this neighborhood. We are performing a thorough decommunization of every house in this area, starting with this one. And how long will that take? A couple of days. Days? And where are we... I mean, and what are... And what are we supposed to do in the meantime? Don't worry, Mr. Kowalski. We have prepared temporary accommodations for you. Your relocation will begin shortly. Darn it. Oh, well. We better start packing. Evan, these gentlemen are trying to convince me that you were contacted by a spy from Matryoshka and that you were given something. I already explained to them that nothing like that could have taken place because you're too good of a boy, right? You didn't take anything from anyone. Uh, of course I didn't. She didn't give me anything. No envelopes. Of course not. You'd never take things from strangers. Still, the gentlemen want to have a look around the house. The timer will let me know when the food's ready. Technology sure is something. It'll be ready to eat in a minute.
and they said food in powder form wasn't the future of cuisine. Just my luck. Just when things start to go my way and I have a chance to go to Matryoshka, instead of packing my things and going away with Anna, I'll be arrested for being a spy. I need to contact Anna immediately. There we go. Now it looks like a flower pot. Why would I put the flower by the window? Well, let's see what she wrote here. Comrade Evan, stay vigilant. We believe someone might have seen us together. If you get caught, please deny everything. I await your signal, Anna Eagliff. Huh. Nothing happened. I was supposed to place the flower on the right side, right? What's going on up there? Everything's fine, Mom! Are you sure? I was just... cleaning my room! Yeah, sure. By the way, the laundry should be done by now. Thanks, Mom! steps outlined by Anna that I need to take before we can depart. Found my red socks. Anna? Is that you? Yes, me. Anna. Give me your suitcase, comrade Aiden. You know, now that we're here and everything, maybe I should just, you know, stay with my parents. Kind of wake the whole thing out. A uh, trip to Matryoshka has always been my dream, and I'm flattered that you thought of me for this important work, but, uh... The leader's life is in danger! What?! Yes, comrade. Someone is conspiring against the light of our dawns. I don't know how deep the conspiracy runs, so I can only trust a handful of my closest colleagues. That's terrible. Who would want to hurt the most just person alive? We will find out. Comrade Evan, are you ready to travel to Matryoshka and stop the conspirators' network? Save the life of our most dearest leader. Yes, of course. It is my duty. The leader represents everything I've believed in since I first read about communism. For the leader and Matryoshka, I will face any danger. Good. As long as that danger is relatively small and doesn't involve snakes. 
Or ferrets. I will inform you of your new role on the way, comrade. Give me your suitcase, comrade Ivan. So? Should we go? Are you mad, comrade? You want to go to the airport with a gun? Well, I can't just leave it out here in the open or in the tool cabinet. When the agents find it, they'll think we're terrorists. Huh. That's a lot of settings and functions for just doing laundry. and listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. Your first mission is to find the whereabouts of my missing agent at the Leader's Heart Hotel. He disappeared, trying to learn where and when conspirators will meet. The official purpose of your visit is to prepare for an interview with the leader and Evan? Evan? Uh, no, Mom, I... Wait, uh, what? Were you sleeping? What? No, no, I was just, I mean, uh... Never mind. Focus and listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. Welcome to the past department. How can I help you, comrade? What kind of documents can I get from you? Oh, all different kinds, comrade. An application for a job, an application for a paycheck, an application to get on waiting list to receive a washer, an application for a document which will explain the lack of applications. Incredible. <laughs> Could I get one? As a souvenir? Of course. The next printing of these applications should be in... Three years. I can add you to the waiting list for the application applying for a lack of applications, comrade. Uh, that's okay. Never mind. Bye. Hi, I'm Evan Kowalski. I have a reservation. Zdratsvojti to the Leader's Heart Hotel, comrade. I need to see your necessary papers and permissions before I let you past the barrier. Please, take a room application from the past department and fill it out. I know how to get to the past department. I was just there. Welcome to the past department. How can I help you, comrade? Okay, so I would like to officially ask about the potential possibility of obtaining an application that would make it acceptable to vis-a-vis. Uh, -vis. Uh, that is, I would like to, if it suits you, to formally request... Uh... For the love of the leader, take the application, comrade. This is an office, not a chat room. Plus, there is a line forming. A line? What line? At Butcher's. I must pick up a present for my father-in-law's birthday. A present at the Butcher's? Huh, what are you giving him? Pork chops? You're not right in the head, are you? What kind of matryoshkan butcher has pork? No, I will be bringing him what he loves more than anything. 
Vodka. The vodka at Butcher's is best. Oh, right. Butcher Vodka, of course. Sure. A sign that reads, Remember, citizen, there's always room for you in the leader's... Huh. Something was crossed out here and replaced with heart. It looks like it used to say prism. Huh. Maybe the leader really likes kaleidoscopes. Here's my application for a room. I see that everything's in order. Please give me your stamp for verification. My stamp? I don't have a stamp. Uh, just a second. I'll think of something. Yes, comrade. Are there a lot of guests at the hotel right now? There's one. You. You're the only one. Understand? Understand? I apologize if I seem overbearing, aggressive, and dangerous. I do not often have a chance to speak in your language, comrade. <laughs> Who? You? No. No, not at all. And uh, uh, don't worry, I understand. I understand perfectly. Uh, you, uh, speak very well. It's just me, and the hotel is empty. Got it. It's the best hotel in the country. Only for special guests. Hmm. Uh, when does the currency exchange open? You need to ring the bell there three times. When does the coat room open? You need to ask the head of security to call for the porter. I saw a broken souvenir machine by the entrance. Uh, is there another one around here? I wanted to buy a few souvenirs. It's not broken, comrade. It's pow. It's pow? Protect it against anti-socialist use. You just need to remove the tape, comrade. I officially give my oral permission. Thanks. I hereby officially confirm the following orally. My official oral permission to remove the POW. I officially orally approve the official oral confirmation of the official oral permission to remove the POW. I officially certify orally the official oral approval of the official oral confirmation of the official oral permission to remove the POW. I unofficially thank you, Comrade Bierutov. No problem. Now I understand why you prefer to have things in writing. You said something about a stamp? Yes, please give me your stamp for verification. I don't have a stamp, but I'll think of something. Bye. Uh, good day. Could you please call for the porter? The porter is urgently needed at the code. Ah. Uh, good day. Before you proceed to the check-in area, you must present your suitcase for inspection. Do this now. Well... <laughs> That's certainly mildly alarming in a vaguely menacing way. Here's my suitcase. Uh, take good care of it, please. It will be returned soon, and have no fear. It will be cared for intensely. Of course, I cannot vouch for its contents. <laughs> of course, I trust I'm dealing with professionals here.
good day. Yes, yes, foreign currency is forbidden in Matryoshka. You must exchange it now. Oh, of course. Would you be so kind as to tell me, in general, what the prices in Matryoshka are like? I haven't left the hotel in over an hour, so I'm not sure. I don't understand. If you like, comrade, I could tell you a joke to help you understand. Just please keep it to yourself, as it's not very politically correct. Of course. Goes without saying. A boy says to his dad, Daddy, lend me a thousand rupiekas. And the dad says, Two thousand rupiekas? Tell me, son, what do you need five thousand rupiekas for? And? That's it. I don't think I understood it, but thank you. Thanks for the information. A collar? Unfortunately, all I have is one single collar. I assume I can't buy much with that. Well, then you'll be living the fancy life, comrade. You are like rich king. Congratulations. Whoa! All this cash for just one collar? <laughs> what an exchange rate! Chewy, we're home.
Here is my stamp. I see it is up to regulation standards. You will do fine here. Let us begin the glorious stamping of necessary documents. Comrade, what kind of sabotage is this? You are to stamp only the proper documents, so only the ones with your photo and the proper designation. Ponyal? Yes, uh, Ponyal. Ponyal all the way. Then here we go. Comrade Ivan, I hereby confirm your authorization to use room 368. The bellboy will show you to your room, comrade. Thank you. I'm sorry, but the rest of my collars are in my suitcase. I I'll tip you properly when I get my bag back. If my coins aren't accused of treasonous acts by then... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is good. You catch on quickly. We are always looking for new informants. I will pass along this information about your coins. If you have any additional information on traitorous activities, please use the phone in your room. Here is a pamphlet that will instruct you on how to prepare for your meeting with the leader. It looks like all I have to do now is take a bath, put on the red socks I packed, and shed all semblance of dignity. <laughs> and I was worried this would be hard. Sergeant Medvedev reporting for duty. Good day. Zdrastvui. How are you, Comrade Ivan? I, I was wondering why I have to show my ass on command? I sense a trap in your line of questioning. Is this some Western attempt to subvert my ideals? What? Uh, no, I, I just saw it in the pamphlet. Ah. It is simple. When a ranking official of Matryoshka asks, you must present your ass. And quickly. Then the official will have himself a nice long look, you know? Take in all details. If everything checks out, you have a happy day. That's a, a very interesting custom. Boy, I hope my ass passes muster. <laughs> So, do I just get my ass out immediately, or should I kind of slowly pull it out, or is there some kind of protocol? You Westerners are a strange people. Just get it out the normal way. You do not need to make a big affair of it. Eye level is best, of course, but just do what you can. And how long does the uh, presenting take? Uh, how long should I leave it out there? It depends on who asks. Some officials can be quite thorough. I've seen inspections last entire afternoons. Now then, I must take a crap. Do you have any toilet paper to spare? I would repay the favor. <laughs> of course. For example, I could look at your ass right now and make sure it is in good order. I would take a proper look, believe me. What do you say? Well, I do want everything to be in order when I meet your leader. Maybe later? Once I've, you know, kind of psyched myself up for it? A wise decision, comrade. When you are ready, I can be found at this address. And do not worry, your ass will be here when your luggage arrives. I really shouldn't do this, but 
Here, you can have a quick look at this ass. Oh, a pass. It's a pass. Of course it's a pass. I'm so glad it's a pass. Do you have questions, Comrade Ivan? Why are there two numbers on my door? Two numbers? I only see one number. 368. Uh, there are two numbers. Right there. 368 and 369. There is no room 369. There never was a room 369, and there never will be. You must be confused. Correct? Well, you're the authority around here, so I suppose you must be right. Thanks for clearing that up. I must be tired from the flight. Is there a reason you're waiting by my door? I'm on guard against... what do you call it? Oh yes, imperialistic propaganda. Well, that's very kind of you, but I don't feel threatened. You misunderstand. I am not guarding you. Oh, wait. Huh? I'm guarding the people of Matryoshka from your hostile ideals and twisted Western culture. Uh, you're guarding very well. Thank you. I feel safer already. Glory to Babushka Matryoshka. Speaking of the unknown, how about finding me some of that toilet paper? My situation is growing quite urgent. I would owe you a debt, comrade. Uh, sorry, but it's Evan, not Ivan. Evan, they're not the same name. I suppose that there is some adjacency, but... Well, actually, from a linguistic and etymological point of view, it would be interesting to... You are not who you said you are? That is bad news, comrade. No, I, I am. I just mean that you... If you are not who you say you are, you must be rescreened and researched. I will go get the latex gloves and warm up my screening hand. Your screening hand? No, you've got it all wrong. In that case, we'll forget all about it. Right, Comrade Ivan? Yes, what a silly misunderstanding. Please, please don't get the gloves. I think I'm ready to meet with your leader. You have met all the requirements listed in the pamphlet? Oh, I suppose. Suppose I haven't. <sighs> then I'm hereby forced to officially reject your application to meet the leader on the grounds that you are not ready to meet the leader. Turn back now. And speaking of back, have you found any toilet paper, comrade? Once a guard had no one to relieve him, so he couldn't relieve himself, if you understand. His family still lives in disgrace because of his soiled pants. Goodbye. I have an application here to use the bathroom. I hope it will be met with approval. In that case, let us begin the glorious ritual of stamping. From now on, you can freely use the bathroom. Just please keep it clean. Literally. Of course. No problem. Cleanliness is my middle name. I'm not scared of the dark. I just really, really prefer the light. When you give the order, be certain. Kneel before an image of the leader. This message will be repeated throughout the day.
For me? Thank you, comrade. The family will be so happy. No problem. I've got a lot of it. Please, let me repay you. In fact, I have good news. A woman died down the hall, and as we drag out body, I have good luck to see her soap just sitting there. She was a filthy, dirty woman, so it was hardly used. Here, for you. If I really pushed hard on it, it would still never work. It worked! Note to self, do not sit in this end of the tub. I hope the previous guests only used it on their faces. I have a suitcase for Comrade Ivan! Uh, Evan. Hey, this isn't my suitcase. I can't leave the room if I don't have my red socks. Ugh, what am I going to do? You're admiring a painting on the wall and whisper. Who's this? You're that Ivan, right? You're the one from the West. How do you know that? Not that I'm confirming anything. Anna sent you? How did you know that Anna was the one? Ha! I won't fall for that old trick. She told me I need to stay alert because we don't know who is on whose side. Who told you that? Anna Eglove on our flight to Matryoshka. Seriously? You need to be more careful, Ethan. Evan! It's pronounced Evan! If I was one of the conspirators, you'd get Anna in trouble. Now, listen carefully. I know who you are. Because you've always been an important part of our plan. That's why Anna flew to the sites to bring you here. I'm the leader's head of security. The leader's head of security? So the leader is now without security? Dear God. Precisely. When I snuck into the hotel to listen in on the conspirators' clients, they locked me in here. They fabricated evidence against me so that I would be done in the eyes of the leader. Since you're in the hotel, it means Anna sent you to free me. Ha! That's exactly what happened. I see that you're so thrusting. You can't trust anyone in Matryoshka. You understand? Yes. I can't trust anyone. Nevertheless, 
everything I have told you is true, unfortunately. After the torture... They tortured you? Yes. After the torture, I lost my hearing for a few days. So, I don't know what the good fools have decided, but we must find out the plans and the details of the assassination. Well, that's easy for you to say. How will we find out the date and the details of the assassination? Fortunately, every room has a hidden recording device. Set the room and listen to the recording. All right, I'll search for the hidden recording, listen to it, and come back. Just hurry. The hotel bathrooms come with complimentary cameras. Laundry detergent for black clothes must have been past its expiration date. Five. Five. Good morning. This is the officer on duty. I would like to inform you that until you acquire the proper permissions, you are not allowed to use the hotel restaurant. On an unrelated topic, no outside food or drink is allowed in the hotel. You can find the relevant application in your room, comrade. Thank you, officer. Goodbye, comrade. I'd like permission to use the restaurant, please. Very well. You know what to do, comrade. There's just one small problem. I used my stamp as a stopper for the bathtub. But this is an application for the restaurant. It should be stamped only with one of our stamps. Phew. That's a relief. All right. Uh, what do I need to stamp? Comrade. What kind of sabotage is this? You are to stamp only the proper documents, meaning only the ones with your photo and the proper designation. Ponya? Ponya, Ponya. Then here we go. Comrade, what kind of. S you are to stamp only. Ponya? Ponya. Then here we go. Comrade Ivan, I hereby confirm your authorization to use the hotel restaurant. You can now phone the restaurant and order something for yourself. When you hear the order, week 11 begins in the A cheap and easy way to make sure everyone gets the same information. Sourdough bread, kvass, and some sour-faced fish. The leader's smile vodka, traditional red borscht, and a nice hunk of meat. Five. Five. Good day. Welcome to the Crystal Restaurant. How can we help you, comrade? 
I'd like to order the sticky fingers combo to room 368. Saltwater fish in the company of a fresh loaf of bread, assisted by the cavasse of the gods in a crystal goblet. Oh, that's whew, top shelf cavasse. It's so strong I could use a chaser. Oh. oh, hard as a rock, and there's way too much flour. I still have so much of it left. Five. Five. Good day. Welcome to the Crystal Restaurant. How can we help you, comrade? I'd like to order the Colors of Red combo to room 368. A meat feast seasoned with socialist thoughts and a high percentage of efficiency. Of the citizens' ring maneuvers taking place today, on the eve of the leader's birthday, when you hear the order, beat 11, begin singing the Matryoshkin National Anthem. When you hear the order, beat 12, think warmly of the leader. When you hear the order, beat 13, kneel before an image of the leader. This message will be repeated throughout the day. It's me, Evan. Did you listen to it yet? No, I didn't listen to it yet. I'll be back. I need to let Anna know. That is not up for discussion, Major. Our primary goal cannot be compromised, though we understand each other, Major. Y yes comrade minister. If this goes wrong, I am holding you personally responsible. I repeat, P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L-L-Y-Y. -Y. Because you're responsible for security during the meeting. Is the date set? Y yes comrade minister. It's Wednesday, March 3rd, at 1800 hours. Is the place set? Yes, comrade minister. The commander of the gate garrison will welcome you, comrade minister. Good thinking. A meeting by the Iron Curtain won't raise any suspicion. I have also invited comrade General Anselmov, as you have ordered, comrade minister. I hope Anselmov will join us. And what if he doesn't? What should we do if he refuses? I see you still don't understand. No matter. Just make sure you put him to sleep. His death will serve as a smokescreen. Do you understand? Put him to sleep? Does... Would you like him to take a nap before we kill him? I, I feel like I should tell you that I am just terrible at tucking people in. I mean, the actual worst. I just never developed a neck for it. All right, never mind. Dismissed. Yes, comrade. Miss this recording will self-destruct in three, two, one. It's me, Evan. Did you listen to it yet? Yes, 
Dear Lord, the meeting is today. But how? They won't let me out of the room until I fulfill all the requirements in the pamphlet. I'm worried about my ass. Don't be. I'll take care of your ass. First of all, you must contact Anna and set up a meeting. Do it discreetly so that those listening in won't catch on call reception and ask to be connected with number 257. Then you need to let me out of this closet. I'll wait until they escort you out and then I'll slip out of the hotel. How am I supposed to get you out of there? These doors look really solid. You find the key to my room downstairs by the head of security. Remember, the head of security. I'll remember. The head of security has a key to this door. Don't interrupt me. Go there now and get the key. They won't let me out of my room because my pass got lost somewhere. It's your lucky say. I have to be good at frothing such things. Cheer. Take this ass and paste your photo onto it. The rest you need to take care of on your own. All right, I'll be back as soon as I have the key. Ha, one more thing, your voice. It sounds very familiar and official. You have a voice for radio. You like listening to the radio? I thought you must have a radio in your room. Listen to it sometime. The radio? Okay, but, uh, I thought I was supposed to hurry. Remember? The whole curtains thing? No, call Anna. We are a statistics-oriented organization. We call a random anonymous number even if it's unavailable. And if the person is interested in statistical data, we have a very open conversation. Oh, good morning. I uh, understand a... Eh? Excuse me, could you repeat that? I didn't quite hear it. Some idiot was driving by. I was saying I understand and good morning. Oh, yeah, I get it. Actually, that's uh, quite the comical coincidence. I was just about to call the association myself, but this seems inadvisable. Such an Open conversation could be risky if you happen on a statistics fanatic, don't you think? Do not worry. All data I share with you is very public. Oh, then you've really put me at ease. I will ask you several random questions. Have you recently made any new friends? I have, but he keeps his emotions locked up so I don't know much about him. Is your friend suffering from anything? Does he go to meetings? Uh, no, he is very... That? I... Oh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. For the love of... Please, concentrate, sir. My friend got burned recently. For now, we're trying to get him to loosen up. Loosen up? Yeah, so he's not all locked up. Instead, he'd be loose. Ah, uh, right. That's very important. But I think it's more important for him to find out if... Uh, what does any of this have to do with statistics, anyway? Uh, I ask the questions here. Oh, I'm sorry. I zoned out for a second. Let's continue. So, are you... Or your friend making any plans? Uh, yes, but they're not fully formed, so he's still a little in the dark. Like his, his, oh, leather jacket. Jacket? Uh, uh just a second. Uh, I'm thinking. Uh, something will come to me. Um, the South likes pork on the fairest stage. What? Okay, I think that's enough. You've won the grand prize. Oh, really? I never win anything. Did I really win? Yes, really. A trip to the Metropolitan Museum of Arts. Ah, uh, but I've already seen it. Then see it again, Jesus! Ah, uh, 
I get it now. <laughs> I'll grab my friend and we can all go. Wonderful. Goodbye. Spring Breeze Laundry. How can I help you? The coffee stains didn't come out. The detergent fell into the aquarium, and the fish has no tie. Agent Eaglove, mission progress report. Everything's going according to plan. The subject's at the hotel. Excellent. You still maintain that the subject was ready to be inserted? We had no choice. We've learned that Operation Caesar will commence soon. Let us hope the subject will not disappoint. Don't worry. I believe in him. Is this enough to allow me to leave the hotel? I see you have everything ready, comrade. Please proceed into the hall. It's interesting music, all right, but <laughs> I've heard llamas in heat before. What to record? Beat 13. Beat 13. The recording probably played out in the hall. The right key on the first try? Evan, old buddy, ha ha ha, you still got it. Back in the States, it's unheard of to mistreat someone like that. Begin singing the Matryoshkin National Anthem. When you hear the order, beat 12. Think warmly of the... Let's when get this guy off. Must be. On the phone, Anna told me to meet her on the Metro. All right. Listen, take this. It's a black knight. Such peace. It's my son. One of my relatives must be waiting outside the hotel. How will I recognize him? 
Everyone in my family is a miller. They know what's going on and they'll help you meet Anna. I hide in here, and as soon as you leave, I'll also escape. Good luck. Thanks. Comrade, you are not allowed to take government property out of the hotel. You need to return the tennis racket as its owner will be released soon. You cannot take the gas mask. Please return the pamphlet. Understood. I see you have a bust of scram. Please return it. But I brought that from home. Please do not create a fuss. Fusses are frowned upon here, as are hisses and tantrums. Just return it, please. That wasn't so hard, was it? I hand it over with a heavy heart. And only so I can be on my way. Wait a minute. The lenses are fogged and the straps are cinched tight. As if a small boned girl was wearing it. Was there unauthorized usage involved? You will tell me now. Of course not. I'm an innocent man. I, I found it like that. I see you have been playing some sort of dirty version of tennis, comrade. Oh, well, it got all dusty like that, uh, by itself. I can see that someone has drawn check marks on this. I cannot believe someone would do this. This is now useless. Who would do such a thing? I'm right there with you. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? It's an outrage, all right, but there's no need to dig any deeper. I I'm sure that someone sure learned their lesson. Uh, whoever that may be. <laughs> Your response about the marks is quite strange. Do you know something about this, comrade? We are very lucky to have extra electricity this week. I would hate to use it on something other than lighting. Electricity? <clears throat> Do your worst, friend. I cannot be broken. So... All right, oh sweet God, it was me. I did it. I'm guilty of vandalism and having amazing artistic talent. Those check marks are gorgeous. And it was me all along. You look ready to cry like little babushka. I am making joke, comrade. The pamphlets are disposable. And actually, yes, the check marks are very nice. Uh, uh, what's next? I'll take you to the leader, comrade. And on the way, you will see our city. The city! Yes! Great idea! Oh, let's take our time. Comrade Ever, look at the Crimson Square. One of the central points of our beautiful capital. It's truly magnificent, is it not? Yes, it is, but it's rather empty, isn't it? What do you mean? There is a line forming right over there. Oh, right. Never mind. Good day. I bet you also only speak Matryoshkin. I assimilated your low vernacular before the current era of obscurantism permeated the nation. Then, as the director of the Department of Foreign Language... Ooh, I know that word. But shouldn't it be foreign languages? Language. Just one. There is only one foreign language sanctioned in Matryoshka. Oh. 
I presented the Ministry of Education with a proposal for the intensification of the educational dynamic, complete with an exhaustive explication thereof, but alas, I was deferred. Yeah, explications. I hear you on that. They can be pretty rough stuff. I presume, dear boy, that your fumbling inquiry is in regard to my existential angst? Uh, yes? Indeed, the incontrovertible decision of those dilettantes affected me deeply. I remained imperturbable, lest those commies take pleasure at my discomfiture. Uh, we all know how dilettantes can be. Uh, also, commies is not the preferred nomenclature. Democratically challenged, please. I'm aware of what I'm saying. Are you implying I'm not? I am not imputing anything, boy. Good. I've grown very fond of my limbs. However, I would advise you not to disseminate words you do not understand. You will only look a fool and possibly lose your aforementioned appendages. I am a journalist, and I am adept at wielding the full breadth of my glossary. <sighs> I happen to possess, within my humble archives, a book of Matryoshkin phrases for foreigners. It may contain somewhat archaic turns of phrase, but I believe it will greatly facilitate communication with our people. Oh, thank you, Professor. If you ever happen to have a surplus of ration cards for sugar, chocolate, or fruit, I will gladly accept them as compensation. Sugar, chocolate, or fruit. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, please tell me, what's it like living here? I feared we were mired in this odious reality for good. Since my brethren have a self-destructive predilection to a perseverative. Oh, you mean walking through parks in the evening in a long trench coat to open it in front of unsuspecting journalists? Not perverse. Perservative. And I'm sorry that happened to you, my dear boy. That sounds monstrous. Only if it wasn't cold out. And thank you. I meant a predisposition to repeat the same mistakes. I see. Meanwhile, it seems there is a ray of hope. What are you saying? Nothing else for now. That grandiloquent satrap has eyes and ears everywhere. Who? That pompous despot boy. Ha! <laughs> You're telling me. Well, I, I hope you'll tell me. Who are you talking about? The leader. Oh! Please don't talk about the leader like that. I know what a despot is, and he's not like that at all. Uh, sure, he wields absolute power and all, but... Don't try to pacify me. I have lived here for 70 years, and I know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah? Well, I just got here, and I know exactly what the leader is like. Good and just. And before you ask... I know all this because I read about him in a Matryoshkin government-approved publication. I saw photos of him playing with children and petting sweet little puppers. Oh, dear boy. You have been egregiously misinformed. The leader is a bloody tyrant who, between breakfast and lunch, signs the death warrants of entire families without looking up from his meal which is assuredly more robust than any meals his citizens consume. I don't mean to lecture you, but you're just buying into the lies spread by the leader's enemies. The people love him. Except you, of course. Balderdash! The people loathe him. He is a godless butcher. I'm sorry, but I don't believe that. I... I see that we are at an impasse on this matter. You will soon see the truth for yourself. What can you tell me about this construction site? Every day is the same. They spend the first half of the day loitering, and then pretend they're working at 1,000% efficiency. Supererogation is foreign to them all. Oh, I understand that. In the States, we have a group of people just like that. We call them Congress. So I have heard. And on top of that, this termagant is spewing sparks all over my priceless incunables. Termagant? 
An unpleasant lady. A welding woman. I don't mean to be rude, but why are you sitting in this pipe? My existence within the pipe is not punitive in nature. In lieu of an apartment, which is evidently still under construction, I received an easement to utilize this pipe. Ah, well, obviously it's an easement. Correct. Now, what's an easement? It means I can use this government-issued pipe until my apartment building is completed. Fortunately, I am not overly ambulatory, so I have had no cause to complain for the past five years. Oh, and what happened to your previous apartment? Previously, I had lodged at the university. The greatest seizure in my life occurred when a censor editing my latest publication about the leader replaced every instance of horrific with terrific. Some sycophant heard my response to the censor, which only brushed against transgression and pettily denounced me. Uncool. Those sycophants are the worst. And that is how I lost my tenure and apartment. And now I await my new allotment. Why don't you move into a different apartment? One that's already built. There isn't one. What do you mean? There has been a housing deficit for years. I'd heard that was impossible under communism. Well, now you can see for yourself how things work here. Can anything unpleasant happen to me here because I'm a foreigner? With your views, dear boy, you have nothing to worry about. Unless, of course, you encounter the leader's pet. What do you mean? Vlad! The Minister of Propaganda. A beastly, cruel man. Everyone should fear him. I doubt we'll be running into each other, but thanks for the warning. I won't trouble you any longer. Before you depart, one more inquiry. Have you spoken with the apotropaic dame by the palace walls? Can you be more specific? I meet so many apotropabes. There is a certain enchanting woman there. You should speak with her. Thanks for the tip. Take something if you like. Oh, but this is a comic book. Precisely. I only peruse periodicals of importance. You have an uncanny ability to teleport, Sergeant Medvedev. That's correct. Major Watson has shown me how to silently appear behind people. It is very useful. I am like Comrade Ninja. Incredible. Here. This is for you. On the leader's honor. It's the adventures of Iron Comrade. I love the Iron Comrade. He has a will of iron and a heart of stone. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, uh, enjoy. Good day. I wanted to... Cause Tam got that mutt butt and that grass in the snoo. Oh. Well, this is odd. Everyone spoke my language at the hotel. I'm going to take one of my famous educated guesses and assume you only speak Matryoshkin. Cause Tam got map rat mac shook do snoo snoo. This book will teach me the basics of Matryoshkin. Matryoshkin's not so hard after all. From now on, it'll be my second mother tongue. I'm so cultured. Good day. I am Evan, from the West. Welcome, sir. I I'm Anatoly, a miller from the village of Leader's Rear End. That's in the West, too, al although it's often as assumed to be in the South. I, I can't figure out why. 
Is it far? Yeah, at least 15 minutes by horse. And my old nag can really scoot. Ah, then I'm much further away. I'm from beyond the Iron Curtain. Hot damn. Then you gotta be real worldly and all. I, I bet you've even seen a pair of women's shoes with buckles on them. I can imagine it now. Anyhow, I'm here waiting on my son. He got locked up by those sons of bitches somewhere in that fancy pants hotel. Big head of hair, talks like he has a mouthful of greasy marbles. That's him! Oh! Then I've met him. He gave me something to confirm his identity. Hot damn! Let's see what she gave you. Hot damn, that really is from my son. I told you. He gave it to me in exchange for helping him escape. He said if I gave it to you, you'd help me. And you helped him escape? Yes, heroically. Well, I freed him. All he has to do is wait for an opening, sneak through the hotel, avoid the guards, and run to freedom. I did most of the heavy lifting, though. Hot damn. That's great news. Forgive me for standing this way, but I gotta pretend that hotel don't mean nothing to me. What can I help you with? I have a very urgent mission. It's top secret, so don't tell anyone. I'm talking like, pinky promise secret. Sure thing. I need to get to the metro undetected. I see. Them bastards are mighty watchful around here. But I heard there are old passages that can take you where you're trying to go. In fact, one of them was supposedly under old Uswick's house. Can you take me to meet him? Meet him? You want to go to the cemetery? He died three years ago. I thought you wanted to go to the metro. How would I possibly know? What about his house? They knocked it down, building a residential complex there now. Ah, well then, I suppose I reckon know where it's hiding. I have what? I mean, I think I know where it is. Boy. I'd pick up accents easily. Thanks for the info. Hello, Eva. Who are you? I have been waiting for you. Some of my answers you will understand, <laughs> some of them you will not. You haven't answered my question. I am the foe. What? I am your yellow light bulb. What does that mean? The question is, do you know why you are here? Of course I do, but it's quite complicated. You can call me the diviner. How did... How did I know your name? I know everything. That's imp- Of course, it's possible, I know. I am a certified gypsy fortune teller. I specialize in rumpology. But in the field, it's easier for me to use a crystal ball. What is- Rumpology is divination, using bots. Do you know that answering un- Asked questions is irritating? I know. It's a curse of mine. Could- I stop doing that? I'll try. You're welcome. Thank- Hey, this time I didn't even start the sentence and you already think you know what I'm going to say. Think of a number between zero and infinity. Okay. Three. You're incredible. Thank you. I get that a lot. But let's talk about you. I know why you're in Matryoshka. But please don't say it out loud. It's top secret. You don't know the half of it. I'll help you. Take this. A bottle? I don't think... Not yet, but... The woman demands tribute! What was that all about? An unclear prediction. Sometimes the words just flow on their own and I don't have control over them. It's also unclear whether they concern the past or what is yet to be. The answer to your next question is... Hey! You said you'd stop doing that! Yeah, right. What do you seek? <sighs> I'd like to... Beware of your shadow, Ivan! Ooh! Thanks for speaking with me. I can see a vision clearly. Remember, 
The code for the cabinet with the shortwave radio at the station is seven. 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 I hope it reaches my parents. I bet they're worried if I'm okay. Hello. Get lost. Now, hang on just a second. Seriously? Go away. I'm busy. Would you be so kind as to lift the concrete slab blocking the metro entrance for me? Yeah, I could do that. Then, do it? Please? What do I get out of it? My undying gratitude? <laughs> what good is that? What? What do you mean? Come on, it's... it's undying. Well, funny guy. Do I look like a shocker to you? Well, I mean, it's, it's hard to tell through the glass, but... Uh, all right, all right. Uh, what do you want, then? Gash. Maybe you'd like some vodka. Now we're starting to understand each other. So, I give you a bottle of vodka, and you'll... A crate of Dobra vodka. A crate? All right, fine. Uh, why do you need that much? Throwing a wedding, are you? I'll be making... Uh... Cocktails, but that's not important. You give me the vodka, I lift the slab. Capiche? Capiche indeed. I'll be back with the crate. Could you please lower me down? Hold on. Good day. If you're lucky and wise, a lot of vodka can be your prize. If you want to play for a crate of vodka, you'll have to bring me a bottle of Dobra vodka as the buy-in. So if I give you a bottle of Dobra vodka, I can play for the entire crate? Correct. Wonderful. Good day. Good day. What do you like? Good question. I've read a lot about how good Matryoshkin cold cuts are. I'd like to try some. Say, a pound of baked veal? A pound? Forna, huh? What veal? You know see no veal. I, I mean, I see the empty hooks where veal could be. Or where it once was. You know think too much. Good advice. Free of charge. Uh, then maybe something... Under the table? I've read that's a popular method of exchanging goods in Matryoshka. Now, to find a table. Is communism. Everyone get equal. Equal crap. Equal beatings. Equal stray dogs. Everything equal. No meat. But you see, wait. So where did the meat go? At this time of year, before leader birthday, in palace. Oh! So he can more easily distribute it equally amongst the citizens? <laughs> are those empty bottles of vodka on the counter, are they part of the display? My brother-in-law do moonshine. It's not as good as the mushroom one, <laughs> but better than nothing. You want a bottle of Dobra vodka? I give you for meat ration card. You want a meat ration card for the Dobra vodka? 
<laughs> you realize the inherent irony in a butcher asking for... Uh, never mind. Good day. You mentioned something about ration cards. Good day. I have uh, sugar ration cards. I can trade you one for a bag of flour. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. It's me again. Uh, you mentioned that you wanted to repay me for freeing your son. You're a miller, right? I could really use some flour. Say no more. I can get you flour. But my horse Bocephus lost a shoe and can't ride to Frickle Frash or Hot Succotash without it. And horseshoes are scarce. After all the iron went into that three-year plan of theirs, bring me a horseshoe and I can get you flour in a flash. I think I'll get going now. Good day. It's me again. I can see that. What do you want now? I can see you're a real magician with metal. So I was thinking... Yeah, yeah. What do you need, fancy pants? A uh, horseshoe? Nothing is free. And you call yourself a communist. All right, I'll pay you. And what am I gonna do with money? I can't get anything today, and it'll be worthless tomorrow. What then? I need that horseshoe. <laughs> Your desperation makes you quite ugly. Fine. Just bring me two things that I'll like. Such as? You'll think of something, desperate little baby. I will? Right. Okay. And also, an imprint of the hoof. I need to know the size of the horseshoe. Understood. I need to get back to work. Good day. What are you pushing for? I, I need a flower. For a woman. Oh, that's different. I can let a gentleman through. Go ahead, young man. I'm done here. Thank you very much. Oh, what a cute baby. <sighs> Good day. Maybe for you. It's so cold out this March, but I have no one at home to leave Misha with. He has to be out here with me, the poor thing. Hello, little fella. Oh, you're so cute. Of course, he takes after his mother, but it's so rare when he laughs. Maybe he can sense your crushing sadness. If you want to make him laugh, Go ahead, Misha loves strange new words. Maybe you can get him to smile. I'm all out of ideas. Chimenarium! Oh, good one. Dan Fangogrim. Great, keep it up! Vern Hood? You have a real talent for talking to kids. And here, I thought for sure your pasty face would make him cry harder. Keeman Landis. <laughs> oh, you made Misha laugh. As a reward, I can give you my flower. Flower? As in, the, oh, the rose. Wow. Phew. I, I thought that was a metaphor for, uh, Something else. Thank you. By the way, I'm Sesha. In that case, good day to you, Sesha. And all the best to Misha.
much like eating food at a carnival, that seemed like a good idea. He's courting me? <laughs> no, and I don't want to. It looks crooked. Like the architect was good, but the construction crew botched it. Or they were drunk. Something's glittering. It's sand. Golden sand. Oh, I remember playing with it. That's where I need to go to get... Sand is good for all kinds of things, like playing volleyball or making mortar. Hey, why you vandal my place? I'm only borrowing it. For my dog. Ah, if for dog is good. You borrow. Dog is good. <laughs> A fragrant carnation. One of the most popular flowers in Matryoshka. What's new? Nothing. How much for the carnation? 90,000 rupiekas. But, wait a second, miss. You said one carnation was 90,000 rupiekas? I said I was Sesia, not miss. That was the price at the time. Now it's 100,000. I understand inflation. I just don't understand why it's so high. But you've heard that we have communism here. Yes, that's why I'm surprised there's inflation. Anyway, I'll take one. It's the last one. All right, Mr. Fancy Pants. The gifts are nice. You are also going to show me what the horseshoe's supposed to look like. I'm working on it.
Mmm. I think everything's good and mixed. Great. Now the carter will be able to make an imprint of the hoof. Bowl for the hoof imprint. Now that's using them city smarts. Uh, please proceed. When I give you the signal, pull the bridle. <laughs> Here's the cap for the reference. Now, let me rest. Okay. It's a shame about the cap, but it'll be perfect as a reference. One, two, and the horseshoe's done. Huh. All this trouble in making a horseshoe's that easy? 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 Screw you, jerk. Everyone's always complaining. It's late. It's expensive. It's easy. Yet no one ever says thanks. Jeez. You took the jelly out of your donut. All right. Thank you. All right, I'm off to get the flower. I'll be back in 20. Godspeed! Looks like no one has anything to trade at the moment. Good day. Can I have a word? This is a line committee. No need to get upset. I, I just wanted to talk. Don't play dumb, pal. I'm not letting you cut in the line. Good day. You mentioned something about ration cards? Yes. I'll give you my meat ration card if I can get some flour without waiting in line. How much flour do you need? Just a few kilograms. All right. I'll see what I can do. Oh, I can almost taste that porky goodness now. Don't give that meat ration card to anyone else. So, you got the flower after all. Here's my sugar ration card. Thanks, but wasn't there talk of some hoggy yum-yums? I believe we agreed on a meat ration card. Hey, uh, where did that woman go? Did anyone see a woman in a gray trench coat? Hmm, maybe it was supposed to be a sugar ration card after all. You mentioned you wanted something sweet. I managed to get some sugar ration cards. Outstanding! Here, boy. Take my meat ration cards in exchange. Thank you. I have a meat ration card. Is the Dobra vodka still on the table, so to speak? Ho ho ho! Of course it is. There's always vodka. Then we trade! Oh, I'm sorry. I was just reading. No problem. Maybe I'll give it to you later.
The sergeant's really into it. Don't mind me. Continue doing what you're doing. Please, wait, comrade. I'll just have a quick read. Just a couple pages to get me through the day. Sure, go for it. All right. How do you play this game? We're playing three glasses. I'll fill two of them with vodka, the third one with water. Then I shuffle them around. You choose the glass you want to drink, and I drink the other two. Whoever stays on their feet the longest wins. Simple. Thanks for playing. Sweet dreams. Here you go. An entire crate of Dobra vodka. That's the second best vodka in Matryoshka. What's the best? Shroomkahol, of course. Then why did you ask for Dobra vodka? Because it'd be a shame to waste Shroomkahol on, uh, cocktails. I'll lower you down. Sound the horn, and then lift the slab. Thank you. This comic book is fantastic. If you want, you can borrow it again later. Wow, the sergeant's really into it. Don't mind me, just pretend I'm not here. Please, wait, comrade. I'll just have a quick read. Sure, enjoy. No go without a ladder. I thought I saw one somewhere around here. Excellent. I'll be free soon.
In the name of the Office of Combating the Capitalist Infiltration of Matryoshka, I demand the Western Dissident be placed in our custody. Uh, but he, uh... Just left the hotel. You're all under arrest. Comrade Major, read them their rights. You have no rights. Agent Onion, report in. Agent Radish, Plan D is a no-go. Arrests have started in the city. Then we need to switch to Plan E. Is it ready to be implemented? Yes! I guarantee that Plan E is fail-proof. Indeed. Plans A, B, C, and D were also supposed to be fail-proof. This time it'll be smooth sailing for sure. We've taken all possible precautions. Besides, Plan C was Agent Potato's idea. Oh, excuse me? Plan C was perfect. Agent Pork messed it up. How dare you? I said it from the start. Plan C was lame. We should repeat Plan B. But this time without Agent Onion. What? You arrogant swine! Agent Pork. Agents? Calm down. How many times do I have to tell you? We won't get anything done like this. Let's get back to business. Plan E sounds solid. Phew! Made it. All right, now I need to jump on the train and find Anna. Oh, a map of all of the metro lines. Ah, since the conspirators are planning to meet by the curtain, which is past the army base, I need to take the metro on the left. I'm not scaring it. I just want to pet it. Who are you? It's me. Anna. Oh, I'm so embarrassed I didn't recognize you. It's good to see you're a... I. What have you found out? So, I've cleverly facilitated the escape of the leader's head of security. He's just waiting for an opportune moment to, you know, actually leave the hotel and escape. Uh, also, I've stumbled across, I mean, <laughs> craftily uncovered a recording of a conversation between the dastardly conspirators, but the tape was kinda sorta destroyed after I listened to it. Shoot! Well, surely you remember what they talked about. No. No. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, uh. I'm just kidding. My mind is a steel trap. I remember everything. Then talk! And don't hold anything back. We're all friends here. All? What an odd thing to say. There's no one here but us. Anyhow, the conspirators are meeting tonight at the base, near the Iron Curtain. There, they'll decide on the time of the attack, and they'll be presenting everything to... General Anselmoff. I know that son of a bitch. Damn it. This is very unfortunate. Why do you say that? <gasps> is he a... vampire? What? No! All of my people are engaged in important matters today. They cannot be diverted from their tasks. 
It'll be difficult to find someone the conspirators won't recognize to get inside the base by the curtain. That won't be a problem. Yes, it will. I just told you why it's a problem. What I mean is, I'll do it. I happen to have an innate talent for acting. I played a mule in a school play once, and everyone said I was the most convincing jackass they'd ever seen. <laughs> I'm sure. But Evan, you know that they won't just let a mule wander onto the base. What does Anselmov look like? Like a short, neurotic mongrel. I can pull that off. I'll just pretend to be him. Uh, do you have a photo of him? Of course. I always keep photos of random generals on me. What luck! Quick, let me see it. For the love of... No! I don't have a photo of him. It's called sarcasm, Evan. But, actually, there is a way to see what he looks like without a picture. There's a festival for the leader's birthday at the Gork Park. And that beast Anselmov's not going to miss a chance to stuff his face with candy. That's fantastic. I'll dress up like Anselmov, head to the Iron Curtain, and listen in on the conspirators' plans. With my acting skills, it's foolproof. What if the real general shows up? Uh... Huh. Hadn't thought of that. Oh, maybe we can find a way to keep him at the festival. Evan? You're very brave to wish to execute such a terrible plan. And since I haven't come up with a better one, let's do it. Find me here after it's done. I knew you'd approve. To work then. Uh, one more thing. You remember our conversation on the phone? Please explain what you meant by the leather jacket. I was referring to the Iron Curtain. It's studded, like a leather jacket. Huh? And what about the South likes pork? on the Ferris stage. The South stands for the Confederacy. Pork is a type of meat. Meat, Ferris, means made of iron. And finally, every stage has a curtain. So the South likes pork on the Ferris stage means the Confederacy will meet by the Iron Curtain. Ha! <laughs> Simple, right? Evan, you're unique. Good luck. See you later. Hey! No pushing. Hey, keep your hands to yourself. There, thick. Hey! Give me back my money! Stop! Thief! Ugh. You're under arrest. Comrade Major, read him his rights. You have no rights. Something's drying, but I need you. Good thing I didn't provoke him earlier. Who knows what could have happened? Something's drying, but I need to get closer to make it out. This looks like a sanitary corner for soldiers. It's a decorative thingamajig that, well, just decorates the wall. Yes, comrade, sir. Comrade General Anzalmov is welcome at any time. Yes, comrade, sir. The men are going to be ready for inspection. Yes, comrade, sir. I, I guarantee that the laxative is on the medical kit. No, 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 no. It did not somehow find its way into the general's meal. I personally secured it myself. Understood, comrade. Signing off. Damn it! Another inspection. Ugh. 
I zoned out for a minute. Get yourself together, Cox. The wake's over. What happened happened. It's now over. I just spoke with Anselmov's adjutant. They're coming here. But thankfully, they got stuck in Gork Park because something broke. He was supposed to go see his mother after his birthday. Excuse me. I wanted to... Not now, citizen. I have urgent business to take care of. If you've come to be drafted into the leader's glorious army, please prepare all documents confirming the draft and come back later. If you don't have any of these documents yet, you can get them from any senior officer. Do I? It's always I, I, I. Why don't we ever think of others? I'm thinking about how angry you are right now. Does that count? I messed up, and we lost our brother colleague. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Let it go, Cox. It wasn't your fault. My condolences, comrade. I could have warned him. No, you couldn't have. You weren't on that plane. Zera could have caught him or piled up some hay. Well, think it's time for me to hit the old dusty trail. <laughs> Brother Golik was celebrating his 20th birthday. As a joke, the guy switched his parachute with a backpack full of ladies' undergarments. <laughs> How could they have known that he'd just assume there was a parachute inside his parachute bag? Oh, shit. Even the Z cop didn't help. <sighs> we put together a small burial mount for him. It was more of a hole to scrape the mush into, but we tried. What's with the painted ammunition? Show some respect, man. Comrade Corporal Bomb's gonna come live with us in the barracks. He'll remind us of our brother colleague. Right. That sounds... healthy. Major Orlova. Hello, comrade. How are you? Comrade leader, I am happy and proud to serve for the glory of Matryoshka. All right, all right. And how is our guest? I don't see him here. Ah, uh, comrade Ivan is on his way, but enchanted by our wonderful country. He's awestruck and wants to take it all in. All right, but I'd rather not wait for him too long. Yes, comrade leader. I will immediately order him to take it in more quickly. Good, good. Don't disappoint me, Major Lola. Until we speak again, comrade leader. Glory to Matryoshka. Glory, glory. <sighs> Sir Kizowitz, you're about to be demoted. Where's my candy? The machine's broken, Comrade General, sir. I want candy immediately. I will bring it as soon as it's available, Comrade General, sir. I can't be here all day. People won't shoot themselves, Sir Kizowitz. Uh, yes, Comrade General, sir. Hey, you in that stupid yellow coat. Yes, you. Don't just stand there like an idiot. Approach my portrait. All right. Can you see the whole portrait? Did he capture all of the details correctly? Well, I see some details here, but... Are the medals there? Yes. Is the peaked cap there? Yes, it's quite big. Gold belt? Yep. Red epaulets? Both of them. Leader-headed pipe? Yes, it's very leaderly. The uniform's navy blue. That's a dark blue, right? Navy! Ships! Cannons! Boom! Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. It's very... naval. He got the mustache and the glasses. 
Bushy and clearly accounted for. Then he's lucky and has saved the platoon some bullets. There'll be no bang, bang, bang! You ever been executed by a firing squad, boy? Well, no. I mean, one time would be enough, I suppose, but... No buts! Take that painting and put it somewhere with equal parts worthiness and visibility. That way my likeness will enhance the festival. Yes, Comrade General, sir. A brilliant idea, just the wrong item, time, and place. Good day, citizen. You've come to sign up for a competition. Wonderful. The available competitions are bricklaying, songwriting for the masses, cycling, and the ideological shooting range. Can I have your name? Ev, uh, Ivan. But I just wanted to ask about... Excellent. Your application has been accepted. Let me also add that the grand prize is a kilogram of sugar. You're the last competitor to fit on the starting list. So in order to win, you must get more points than the current leader, Citizen Natasha, who has 45 points. The rules are simple. You can take part in each competition as many times as you'd like. The highest score you receive in each discipline will be tallied up. You can get a maximum of 20 points in each competition. Good luck, Citizen Ivan. The rules are very simple. One, you have 20 shots. Two, you get points for shooting the capitalist targets. Three, you get no points for shooting the communist symbols. New Devi. Greetings to the esteemed committee. What is it, citizen? 
I'd like to take part in the competition. Then you're in the right place, citizen. It just so happens that Professor Volchak, Professor Krajic, with Professor Skarbovich, are looking for young, talented writer-poets who are tasked with writing lyrics to a hymn, honoring the leader, the party, and communism. Are you ready, citizen, to begin? The test. Presented by... The competition? Well, I do write on a constant basis, but mainly in prose, and I'm afraid, or rather embarrassed, because I don't know if such a beautiful hymn I can write, the words of which would then bring to light the meaning of communism, party, and leader. So maybe I shouldn't attempt that either. The more gifted poets should write down their passions as soon as they get their toilet paper rations. Please continue. I'm unable to convey with my words all at once the sounds of tractors, factories, and guns. I don't know the verses that could be spoken aloud, how Matryoshka stays so glorious and proud, how the youth builds statues of the leader, and the farmer grows enough beets to feed her. So I think I will decline, so as not to- Enough, citizen, that's enough, dear professors. I think that today... We have the winner. Let us vote. Attention! Citizen Ivan has taken part in the songwriting competition. His score in this competition is... 20. Just one request for the judges in the committee. Please do not award more than 20 points. I have finished three grades and can count to a hundred. So I know that three nines is... is... Uh, much more than 20. And so, Citizen Ivan is the winner of the festival competition and wins the grand prize, a bag of sugar. Congratulations. Please come and claim your prize. If this was a slingshot, combining it with rocks would make sense, but this is just the letter Y, not a slingshot. This is the perfect place to get my disguise together. I can put Anselmov's portrait inside and then check each item off as I add it to my disguise. Fashion and matryoshka. <laughs> I haven't seen any so far. Basically says here that dressing differently than instructed will void one's right to a washer, promotion, or even vacation time. All of this is missing some happier colors and optimistic tones. <laughs> Someone cut out a few of the pages in the middle, and it looks like this page is in the men's fashion section. <laughs> That's actually nice. I saw someone wearing these. That's a little too frivolous for me. Oh, this is actually just becoming trendy back home. <laughs> We're so behind. It looks like they will soon be able to send a Matryoshkin man into space. Ah, someone cut out a few pages, and it looks like two different articles got spliced together. Oh, this is interesting. For sale, Irony Curtain Game. For one player, slightly used, game pieces in good condition, just no box. Contact Steam Off Street, APP 866-190. Much like eating food at a carnival, that seemed like a good idea. In my defense, that was a terrible idea. Comrade General, sir, I... If you don't have any cotton candy, then get lost. Actually, a man your age shouldn't be wandering around the city without purpose. 
like a child. But I... Here's an army draft notice. Go show it to someone at the base. Do not have fear, small pasty midget. The army will make a man out of you yet. I, I was just... No justs! Move out before I have you shot! Good day. Are you who I think you are? That's highly unlikely. Professor Bonaventura Funcorn? Or it's very likely. How do you know me? I'm a huge fan of your work. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Though I must admit, I have no idea where you could have seen my paintings. I have a book on matryoshkin culture at home. Hmm, interesting. And the book is mainly filled with your paintings. <laughs> you flatter me. The pleasure is all mine, maestro. Incredible... Uh, lines? I'm trying to really bring out depth in this painting. I'm looking for new forms of expression. I think I'll call it M1, after the metro line. Have you considered painting circles instead of lines? I'm a huge fan of circles. They're just so interesting. Hmm. I'll take it into consideration. Could you give me something as a souvenir of our meeting? Like what? A brush. No way. They're hard to get. You know, just a thought, but uh, utilizing sfumato and chiaroscuro as well as going more towards diagonalism might bring out the potential of that trash can in more interesting ways. Huh? I mean, of course, as opposed to horizontalism. Obviously. <sighs> oh, uh, you could be right. Uh... Hello, kid. I'm Colonel Kwiatkowski. Good day. I'm Evan. War. Plans for atomic annihilation. Those were the days. Anselmov rose in the ranks thanks to me, you know? I was his commanding officer. Do you know comrade General Anselmov? Yes, I've even met him personally. Then you probably already understand why people like him need to be eliminated. Eliminated? He used to be my most trusted adjutant. But the bastard betrayed me. Stepped on other people to get to his goal. But sure, now he has his stars. But at what cost, I ask? But at what cost? I suppose it doesn't matter. Everyone gets their due. The problem is, something big is happening tonight. But they took away all of my weapons. I feel very unsoldier-like without them. I'd give anything to once again feel the cold of that death-dealing steel. I've told you about Anselmov, right? Yes, Colonel. You did. A grenade? For me? A real grenade? You... you are a good man. Despite your foreign stature and slight build. Here, take my medals in exchange. Oh, thanks! They're almost identical to General Anselmov's. Not enough power.
Someone's airing out their boots. I want to join the army. Here are my documents. Does the recruit have a name? Of course. Well, I'm not taking a random survey. Give it to me. Uh, uh bogus. Bogoslav Fakovitz. Born. Uh. <clears throat> uh, right. Uh, born April 1st, 19. 1910? Are you saying you're 40 years old, citizen? 1920? Are you asking me when you were born, or telling me? Uh, yes. I, uh, I'm not very good at this. I see. I'll mark you down as mathematically challenged. No, I meant that I get stressed when I have to, uh... Improvise? Uh, no! I mean, why would I need to improvise, right? <laughs> Fake of it. Don't take me for a bigger idiot than you. You think you're the first moron who's joining the army to get away from his lady and doesn't want to give his real name? People actually do that? I mean, I am doing that. Yes, I am. Uh, you got me. Good. Now let's keep this moving, shall we? Got vaccinated? Yes. Got family? Yes. Got your own foot wraps? Yes. Got lice? <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, no. Not yet. I aspire to? Got kids? No. Good. Then we won't have to pay them a pension after you shoot something off while cleaning your gun, bogus love. Wait. That happens? No, no. That's just an old recruiting joke. But also, yes. It's rare, though. <laughs> we, we usually can't afford ammunition for recruits. I see. And since girls just line up for a man in uniform, we provide you with one of these. Rubber product number two make it last. Oh, but this is a... Oh. And as a new recruit, you will later get a nearly complete uniform. Nearly? Corporal brother colleague lost the hat. I also grant you authorization to use the sanitary corner. Congratulations. Thank you. That's it for now. Dismissed. Yes. Yes what? Yes, ma'am? That's better. Mr. Cox, I wanted to... That is your major malfunction, recruit! How dare you speak to your superior that way! Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Comrade Lieutenant Cox, permission to speak? Speak. What's your name? Recruit Fa... Fakovitz. Right, Fakovitz. Uh, Fakovitz Bogdan. All right, Fakovitz. What do you want? I, I was just admiring the Comrade Lieutenant's physique, and I, I was just thinking. And, and please don't take this personally, but, uh, well... If Comrade General Anselmov is to come here for inspection, it might be a good idea for the Comrade Lieutenant to work out just a tiny bit. Because I see your tricep lateral ubulus, which connects to the upper dorsimus muscle, it... It just looks a little deflated. What? What do you know? You must be right, Fekovitz. Vera! I'm going to go work out for a bit. You're good here. Sure. Go on, Cox, you maniac. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, stop touching that. Uh, you said I wasn't going to get a hat for my uniform because it got lost, so I thought maybe I could take this one. All right, recruit, you've got initiative. I'll give you that. I'll also give you that hat. Oh, this is interesting. For sale. Matryoshka will become a democracy before that works. Who 
aloof in zigzag tights are no longer in style. Ooh, look, the latest fashion magazine. Ooh. Thank you, comrade. Not enough power. More like a clumsy hurry. I like it. I'm not feeling creative at the moment. Things. They're shit. How do you think they are? It's cold. My feet have turned to footsickles since I don't have a fucking ration card <coughs> for shoes. Ugh. Oh, I didn't even know there were ration cards for shoes. Says the fancy man who clearly got one. Now I think there are ration cards for just about everything. So, why do you all need these ration cards anyway? Wouldn't you rather just go to the store and buy whatever you need when you need it? This constant waiting for something because you don't have a ration card for it doesn't seem as great anymore as when I read about it. I can't tell if that's an honest question. If you're trying to get a free punch in the mouth. Uh, I was joking. Of course, I know that ration cards make everything better in the long run. Both jokes are not funny. Man... We've got ration cards because communism keistered our entire economy. It's ruined, and that bastard leader only makes things worse. There's always a, <coughs> a shortage of something. The party regulates everything, 
so that it looks like the system is functioning and to barely keep alive the society that's working for it. What are you talking about? That can't be right. Yeah. You don't want to believe me? Then don't. But I know what I'm talking about. <coughs> I used to be a director at several <coughs> factories. But look around for yourself and see if everything's great in our country. And that's how you ended up shoeless and warming your feet over the fire? Yes. You see, communism in action. <coughs> Someone needs to tell the leader about all this. He'll get to work fixing this right away. <laughs> He'll get to work all right, digging a hole deep in the forest to bury me in. Well, his men will do the digging, I suppose. At least the work will warm them. In that way, communism does work. Here, uh, take these. Just looking at your feet is making mine hurt. God damn, they're my size. I've never had shoes <coughs> in my size before. I have to pay you back somehow. What can I give you in return? Since you have shoes now, uh, can I have that handsomely sculpted votive candle with the leader's likeness on it? Sure. That's a fair trade. That idea was genius, and completely wrong. If I really pushed hard on it, <laughs> it would still never work. I used to have better ideas as a child. Hope dies last. The disguise is complete. Now, I need to detain the real Anselmov. Never made cotton candy before. I'm so excited. Genius idea. That should detain the general for a good long while. The stick is a crucial element, and voila, laxative candy. 
Come for the sweet flavor, stay for the oh my god, I think I might need a doctor. Chauffeur off, let's uh, go. But, Comrade General, uh, the cotton candy. Forget it, we must go. <laughs> Comrade General, is everything okay? What? Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> of course. Uh... There's no need to rush, Comrade General, sir. Uh, we will arrive at the base ahead of planned time. The base? Uh, the one you are inspecting, Comrade General. <clears throat> Yes, uh, let's start with the Iron Gate today. Uh, the gate? Uh, but it's not on our schedule. What? I apologize, Comrade General. What's going on? Oh, it's... the fuel, General. Oh, what's with the fuel? We... I mean, I was supposed to refuel at the base, but Comrade General changed the route. I did what? Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean... Uh, don't worry, Comrade General. I'll go to the base and get some fuel. It's just a couple of miles. I'll be back in no time. Major, you have no rights. It'll be a couple of hours before the driver comes back. I better not get this disguise dirty in the meantime. Oh! <laughs> Who are you? A thief? Tell me the truth. Are you a thief? Tell me. Tell me now. Hey, easy. You relax. I, I was just walking by. Driving by. I mean, we ran out of gas, so the chauffeur headed off to the base. Chauffeur, eh? You someone important, man? Tell me. If you're important, tell me. And so, you see, I'm on a secret mission. Can I trust you? Of course. <laughs> yes, with everything. That's great. It's so hard to tell who I can trust these days. So, here's the situation. Someone's planning to assassinate the leader, and I have to stop them. Wow, so you are important. Big cheese! <laughs> oh, you think so? <laughs> That's nice to hear. I'm Ivan, or rather, Evan Kowalski. And I'm Leshy, but they call me Lesh. But you can call me Leshy, or no, you choose. <laughs> You're an important man after all. <laughs> Leshy, I will call you Mr. Leshy. What are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Uh, look around and guess. You only have one guess. One! You make alcohol! You guessed it! <laughs> <laughs> yes! And not to brag, I am the most famous and acclaimed moonshiner in Matryoshka. You make that shroom call I'm always hearing about. Yes, that's me. Lesh makes the shroom call. Ugh. <laughs> oh. It's a shame I can't try some of your product, but getting ham-boned drunk right now won't help me complete my mission. I need to stay sharp. 
The chauffeur will be back soon with the gasoline, and I'll need to quickly put on my disguise. Uh, he won't be back soon. To the base and back on foot, that's two, three hours at least. Really? Oh, I don't have that kind of time. The meeting could start any minute. Maybe I can help. Do you need my help? Tell me, do you? Tell me. Uh, yes, I do. But do you have any gasoline with you? I have to get to the base by the gate as soon as possible. And then, in disguise, I need to take part in the conspirators' meeting, where they will determine the time of the attack. This is extremely important. My entire mission depends on this. Oh, boy. Talk about big favors. Well, you're in luck. I've got something better than gasoline. <laughs> I got a plan. A concept. <laughs> A safer alternative. I'm all ears. They know me there. I've been bringing them my shroom for years. I'll hide you under a tarp in my trailer, drive up to the gate and park by the windows of the officer's quarters. It's so stuffy in there, they always have their windows open. You'll be able to hear everything while keeping out of sight, so you won't have to risk getting caught. Ha! That's a great plan. Plus, I love playing hide-and-seek. Let's go. Hold on. I need to get everything ready. Make sure to let the soldiers at the gate know I'm coming so they won't start shooting. <sighs> bring the tractor out, cover the trailer. I'll bring the tractor and cut. No! I need you to take care of something else. You see, I'm famished. And uh, I get fussy when I'm hungry. And more importantly, uh, if your stomach starts growling under that tarp, well, we'll be in real trouble. <laughs> Better we both eat something. I'll, I'll get the transport ready, and you find us some hot snacks. Okay, I'll find some. Once you're ready, bring the food to my dugout. Let's get to it! One more question before we go. Why are you looking the other way when speaking to me? Uh, because I, I have to keep an eye on my apparatus. I know you greasy-handed Westerners have thievery in your blood. But I... I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm actually looking right at you. It's just an eye condition I have. Hasta la vista, birdie. Just kidding. Shooting at a bird, although rewarding in a sadistic kind of way, wouldn't solve my problems. But I do need you to fly away. Don't worry, little ones. I'll take care of you. The hose runs somewhere deep inside the dugout, so it's probably not directly involved in producing the shroom call. It's humongous! That's the kind of mushroom we need. Now 
now the car can be started for a little bit. Maybe I can make a snack for Leshy on top of the hot engine. Down a little. It won't go lower than that. It's as far up as it'll go. Down a little. There you go. <laughs> it started. They're completely hard-boiled. The perfect hot snack for the road. Whenever I take a bus back home, I always bring along some hard-boiled eggs, sausage, or smoked fish. I have the food. Uh, hard-boiled eggs okay? Eh, I was expecting more, but all right. I, I, I was expecting more. I'm ready to. We can go. Ready? Ignition! Major Orlova. Hello, Comrade Orlova. Tell me, how is your family doing? My family, Comrade Leader. Good, I hope. Everyone's hard at work for the glory of Matryoshka. They're good, that's nice to hear. And tell me, Orlova, where is our Ivan? Surely he has already taken in all of Matryoshka. Yes, Comrade Leader. Comrade Ivan has arrived, but before we can let him into the palace, we were ordered to thoroughly search him in order to ensure the leader's safety. Who gave you such a stupid order? Comrade Leader did. Comrade Leader. <sighs> Go tell them to hurry up with the search. Yes, Comrade Leader. Glory to Matryoshka. Ivan, where are you? Playing spy, are we? I'm afraid playtime is over. You got him. I kept my promise. Now it's your turn to honor our deal. Why, of course. You will get exactly what you deserve. Let me out right now! This is some horrendous misunderstanding. You're making a terrible mistake! It's you who made the mistake by crossing me. This morning I still didn't know what role they had planned for you. But now, I believe I do. Since they went to all this trouble to bring my doppelganger down here. Uh, excuse me. If anything, you're my doppelganger. And my trip to Matryoshka had nothing to do with you. Look, I came here because the leader's life is in danger. Yes, yes. And by keeping me here, you're unwittingly helping the conspiring assassins. <laughs> yes, of course. Unfortunately, you'll be here a while because... Let me out of here right now! Watch who you're talking to, moron. This is the Minister of Propaganda. I don't care who he is. If the leader finds out, Comrade Minister Vlad is the leader's right-hand man, you moron! He knows best what's best for the leader! Shut your yap, old man. It just so happens, little Evan, that the leader can't help you anymore. We'll see about that. Why am I dressed in this uniform? Give me back my clothes! Your clothes went into the oven. You, my dim-witted double, will serve as my backup plan. I'm not a plan! I'm a man! If anything goes wrong, then we'll have a little quid pro quo, and the Western traitor and conspirator will bite the dust. Oh, you don't understand anything. I'm the good guy. Exactly. And I'm not. You're not in the States anymore, Dorothy. Not even funny. Yes, it is! 
I don't have time to deal with you right now, but I'll gladly interrogate you later. We have methods that will make you tell me everything and give me E-V-E-R-Y-O-N-E -E -E you ever worked with. I swear I won't tell you a thing! You understand? Nothing! Oh. Why so angry? <laughs> you swear now, but after we pull your fingernails and toast your balls, you'll feel stupid for not keeping your word. Vlad, you're a vile son of a bitch. If it wasn't for these bars, psh, I'd hit you already. But just wait till I get out of here. You'll get yours. <laughs> Don't count on it, little Evan. You know what they say. Keep your friends closed, but your enemies more closed. The bucket is completely rusted. It's barely holding together. Hey, how come there's no lock on my door? I think someone tried to hide something in this book. It's written in tiny letters. It's too small to read with the naked eye. I'm starving! I'll get you a bowl. <laughs> we don't want you to die before the execution. <laughs> This is monotonous work, but I happen to know some great prison jokes.
That will slow him down a bit. It'll take them a while to figure out that rolled up blanket isn't me. Click, and the power's buzzing. Guard! Shut up! You'll get nothing else. Guard! Shut up! You'll get nothing else. I could turn the power off first. Click, and the power's not buzzing. Someone's about to get a shocking surprise. Click, and the power's buzzing. Guard! <laughs> Shut up! The bullet has gunpowder in it, so I need to be careful that it doesn't explode in my pocket. I bet it says, warning, dangerous prisoner on the other side. And we're down. Uh, oh, I can't reach it. It's that damn traitor. Before the guards realize it's not me, I'll be long gone. A little boom coming up. Aha! That idea was genius. Everything going according to plan? Yes, comrade minister. Our soldiers stand ready. Reinforcements are almost finished. The palace grounds are being secured by Major Orlova. The leader suspects nothing? Still nothing. The revolutionaries provided a good excuse to bring the tanks to the courtyard. The bigger the chaos, the easier it will be to eliminate the old man. That's why the signal to begin the attack will be the detonation of the statue. Genius. Comrade minister, you are a born strategist. And once the crowd gathers by the gate, we'll announce that starting today, I will be the greatest leader of Matryoshka. And then we'll execute them. Half of them is an example. Yes, the greatest leader. That be all. One more thing. And we're sending the order to have the doppelganger shot. Yes, comrade, the greatest leader. Should I let him go? <laughs> have you lost your mind, Colonel? Yes, sir. I'll shoot him myself later tonight. I want that wannabe usurper Evan to look me in the eyes as he dies. That'll be the icing on the day's cake. I thought you didn't like sweets, comrade the greatest leader minister. <sighs> Leave! Stop!
Private. Oh, y y yes, c c c c m m Minister, sir. What are you doing, Private? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm filling bags with sand. Why are you doing that? I, I didn't a a ask, Minister. At ease, Private. And uh, get back to work. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, there are screams and gunshots coming from beyond the gate. Whoa, a code word board. I wonder if these passwords are still valid. Huh, that's a strange password. Comrade Minister, sir. Today we are practicing observing the baton. It's difficult to sing because all the smoke from this morning's executions has parched the singer's throats. Carry on. Whatever it is you're doing. There's scaffolding around the statue, but it's too high for me to reach. Comrade Minister Sturr, your orders were to not allow anyone near the statue. Anyone, including yourself, Comrade Minister. Uh, right. I remember, I was just testing you, and you passed! So, good. I don't recognize the label, but judging by the shape of the bottle, I'm guessing it's wine. Photos from my book on communism show the palace courtyard all green and blooming. This is... not. Attention, soldier. Please provide the password, comrade minister. A digit, a word, a date, and a color. Do I have to? On your orders, comrade minister. Everyone does. Ugh, I need to remember how it went. Reminds me of the empty hooks at the butchers and the long line for flour. What a terrible way to live. Gentlemen, a little something to clear your throats. Don't look at me like that, you goggle-eyed sopranos. Take it! Yes, Comrade Minister, sir. Thank you. Now the boys will be able to sing. Maybe you'd like to listen in, Comrade Minister. Our repertoire today includes the Armored Warfare song and the Airman song. All right, let's go with that Airman song. Yes, Comrade Minister, sir. All right, gentlemen. Avan and the two. Engines growling, creaking wings, the propellers hum. Our plane is taking off, our enemies will succumb. The airmen's in the cockpit, sober as a lynx. Once the mission's over, you'll have a couple of drinks. We'll plow the blue skies and the mushroom will sprout. We're Matryoshkin airmen and there's never any doubt. He flies straight and true to cause our enemies pain. Thinking next time he'll have to fuel the plane. Or any of the target the bombs settle the place. But will he have the gas to get him back to base? We'll plow the blue skies and the mushroom will sprout. We're Matryoshkin airmen, there's never any doubt. Ah. 
I'm a pacifist. I don't like weapons. I'm a pacifist. I don't like weapons. Matryoshkin realism is always ideological in its subject matter and national in its form, because the lack of ideology in art is a form of hostile ideology. Or something like that. It's the leader in his youth. He was already a member of the leader Yukin back then. I need to see the leader regarding an urgent matter, Comrade Lieutenant General. It's about his safety. Comrade Minister, the leader is busy. He's not to be disturbed unless it's absolutely necessary. Comrade, it is absolutely necessary. I order you to let me in this instant. Forgive me, Comrade Minister, but I only take orders from the leader. If you wish to pass, Comrade Minister, you need to present me with a really important documented reason. Attention, soldier. Please provide the password, comrade minister. A digit, a word, a date, and a color. One, today's word is... Already, the date will be... December 18th. And the color is... Green. Hmm. Yes, that's the correct password. You may enter, comrade minister. Comrade Minister, sir, I watched for any doppelgangers of yours, just as you ordered, but did not see any. Ha! <laughs> not necessary, soldier. You did fine. Now, uh, stand aside so I can get to my desk. Apologies, Comrade Minister, but you ordered me not to. Of course I did. Say, uh, did I mention for how long? Comrade Minister told me not to let Comrade Minister through until Comrade Minister arrived with the capitalist doppelganger Comrade Minister arrested. Rats! He would say that. I mean... I would say that. I mean, correct? At ease. Click.
Click. Hey, easy. You'll run over my tanks, comrade. Run over my tanks, comrade! Hey! Easy! You'll run over my tanks, comrade! Hello, soldier. Huh? What's up? Comrade, I'm ha ha happy to inform you that the reinforcement work is done. Wasn't there a gigantic cannon here? The com... 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 Mini ministry of war ordered that it be removed. Stay warm, Private. Well, stay frosty, but... but stay warm. Icy hot, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I, I mean, no, sir. I mean... I, yes. The plan shows the placement of cameras along the roads that the tanks can use to reach the palace. I'll try to direct them to here instead of the city streets. The plan shows the placement of cameras along the roads that the tanks can use to reach the palace. I'll try to direct them to here instead of the city streets. Zoom. Hmm. I understand that hidden cameras in Matryoshka are for the common good, but phew, that would never fly in the States. We trust our government, and they trust us.
eating the spam revealed the bottom of the can. Telephoto lens made at the palace. Vertical. It fits. Horizontal. Now this will be a zoom. understand that hidden cameras in Matryoshka are for the common good, but phew, that would never fly in the States. We trust our government, and they trust us. Thanks to the lens I attached, the photo of a screen on the other side of the room will be sharp and clear. Okay, photo taken. Vertical. I think photographic plates will get bigger with time. <laughs> you can't stop progress. Minister, the developed photo. Comrade Lieutenant General, uh, I have a really important document. This photo needs to reach the leader at once. Hmm. Oh. What? What? And you wish to enter the leader's chambers, Comrade Minister? Of course. At once. I must admit, Comrade Vlad, I have not been in this situation before. Please, go on in. Hello, Comrade! Wait! Oh, this is very important! <clears throat> what is it? Oh, Vlad. Great work. Thanks to your report, we are able to arrest and sentence hundreds of key revolutionaries. I was just watching them being packed onto the train. Comrade Leader, I'd like to report that Minister Vlad has decided to murder Comrade Leader and assume power in Matryoshka. He has given me his documents on the matter. What are you babbling about, General? Give me those documents. Hmm. What the fuck? Vlad! I'll fuck General, shoot the traitor. Comrade leader, please! Nikolai, what the hell? Are you blind? You don't know what my dear nephew looks like? Shoot yourself as punishment. Right here, right now. Do it! <laughs> All right, Nikolai. I was just kidding. Find and arrest the former Minister Vlad immediately. Dismissed. Yes, comrade leader. 
And you, Ivan, make yourself at home and tell me, how's things? I exited the Ministry of War, took a right by the cake, and handed the Guard General the photo. Oh, thank you for that detailed description, Ivan. Oh, oh, have I mentioned how honored I am to be able to speak with the leader? Yes, many times. Uh, comrade leader, can I ask a question? Make it quick. I need to resolve that revolution situation, and then execute Vlad. Uh, did I hear you call Vlad your dear nephew when talking with the guard? No, you did not. But yes, Vlad was the son of my brother, who died by a gunshot to the back of the head. Was? Let's not get into that now. I, I didn't know you had a brother. That wasn't mentioned anywhere. We can talk about family this evening, after the executions. A, a comrade leader, could I be so bold as to ask one more question? That's a lot of questions, but all right. You might have saved my life today, so ask away, Ivan. Uh, Evan. <laughs> it's, it's pronounced Evan. With a short, guttural... <clears throat> I wanted to ask if there was any way to avoid all these executions. Uh, have you tried arrests? Uh, warnings? Resocialization? <laughs> what a preposterous idea! <laughs> Don't make me doubt where you stand. We just met each other. We're not building communism here based on resocialization or nonsense like that. Um, but, uh, those revolutionaries... They're not doing this out of malice. They just have different views on... Ideas are far more powerful than guns. We don't let our people have guns. So why should we let them have ideas? But... Enough! You cannot stop a revolution with silk gloves. Go look through the telescope at those revolutionaries of yours and stop questioning me or you'll join them, Comrade Ivan. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Don't touch that! Don't touch that! Uh, comrade Leader, considering what I have done for you today, I, I beg you to agree to- No! Gratitude is an illness suffered by dogs! Do you think I'm a dog? Uh, no, uh, of course not. I ordered you to look through the telescope. I'm waiting. I don't like waiting. Using sharp objects when in the leader's presence is suicide. Uh, comrade Leader, uh, where are you deporting them? <laughs> deporting? To the other side. The train's going to the forest outside the city. There, they'll be executed. Uh, but... that's monstrous. I beg you, be merciful. Be quiet, or I'll stop being nice. Their lives are of no value to me, to communism. Matryoshka functions so perfectly because any hostile, seditious element is immediately uprooted and eliminated. And since weeds easily spread, we remove their entire surroundings to be sure. And it works. Uh, I'm not feeling well. I need to go outside. You all deserve each other. Get yourself a trophy from the closet as a reward for discovering Vlad's treason. And don't leave the palace. I will call on you. Hello. Connect me with the head of the secret police. Prepare a list of everyone Minister Vlad was in contact with in... Comrade! Anna, don't be fooled by my disguise. Huh? It's me! Evan! I know. Evan, it's completely obvious. What happened? Why the sad face? 
everything has gone straight to hell since we spoke on the Metro. I don't even know where to begin. The leader? <laughs> what? Brace yourself. The leader's not at all the man everyone thinks he is. <gasps> he's not a vile tyrant? No! He's a vile ty- Wait, what? I'm glad you figured it out yourself. Now, everything else should come easier. I heard it all myself. How he ordered the execution of not only the captured revolutionaries, but also their families, friends, colleagues, everyone. Why did he do that? Apparently, they've already captured a bunch of them and loaded them onto a train. Once they're outside the city, they'll all be killed. Damn. I didn't think it was that bad. That's horrible. Those people are innocent. Why? Why would he do this? I've believed in him my entire life. I'm sorry. You know, even revolutionaries should have the right to express their views. I know what it's like. In the States, I was the outsider. Persecuted for my views. Judged at wine and cheese parties. I'm sorry, Evan. Anna. I think my heart is broken. Ever since I was a kid, he was a role model for me, an ideal, and today he turned out to be a monster. Damn him. Damn him to hell. I risk my life for him, travel across the world for him, and this is what he does? Evan, pull yourself together. Breathe. But, but wait, since you already knew, uh, why did- I'll explain in a minute, but first tell me everything that happened after we met. I need to know where we stand. Okay, um, when the light went out, someone came up on my left and stole all my rupiekas. Uh, it was about- Stop, stop! E Evan, could you maybe limit everything to just the important facts? Tell me about the conspirators. Oh, right. The head conspirator turned out to be- Vlad, that much I know. Jeez, spoiler alert. Anyways, I didn't get to the meeting because that bastard arrested me and threw me in prison. As soon as he left, I escaped. Over at the Ministry, I got a photo confirming his involvement in the conspiracy to assassinate the leader, and I just warned the leader about Vlad, like, five minutes ago. Oh! Oh no! Evan! What? God damn it! What? That was our plan, wasn't it? No, not at all. Did anything else happen that I should know about? Let me think. Um, in the control center at the Ministry of War, I let all the prisoners out of their cells. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. But then I looked through the leader's telescope and saw most of them being arrested again. I think they're most likely going to be executed. Probably, uh, because of the escape attempt. Oh, for the love of... That's not wonderful, that's terrible. All right. I told you what I know. Uh, now it's your turn. Okay. So, don't be mad. But I didn't bring you to Matryoshka to save the leader. What? The leader is a disease that is eating away at Matryoshka. There's only one thing worse than him. Vlad? Very perceptive of you. Yes. Vlad. We found out that... We? Uh, who is we? The Resistance. I am the co-founder of the Resistance, Evan. Really? I mean, uh, right, of course. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you the truth from the beginning, but there was no other way. No other way? You literally just mentioned another way. You could have told me the truth from the beginning. I feel manipulated. If I would have told you back in the States that the leader was evil and I wanted help overthrowing him, would you have come? Hmm. Probably not. See? You had to experience it yourself. To live like we live. It truly was the only way. Okay. That may be, but why me? We found out that Vlad is planning a coup. We planned on waiting for him to deal with the leader. Then we would remove him and replace him with... you. For a bit. You'd declare publicly on television that the leader, you know, went abroad or something, and that you would be handing power over to the people. Us. Holy jeez, that's clever. Oh, and, and what if the agents back in the States had stopped me from leaving? They almost did, you know. They only appeared to. The Resistance has been working closely with the station government from the start. The agents 
only came to your house to further engage you and to throw off any of Vlad's spies. We couldn't be sure how far his reach extended. What about my parents? They also knew that they... Your parents work for the state's government, Evan. What? <laughs> no, they don't. They tell me everything. Did they ever tell you that you're adopted? Yes, actually, they did. I know I'm not their biological son, but that has nothing to do with their jobs. They're not spies. Don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you what I know. It didn't seem strange that your mother knows martial arts, throws knives like a pro, and has utensils with the Fringe Intelligence Agency logo? You didn't notice that your father has a collection of weapons in the basement that could equip a small army. You never wondered why they always got calls from strange people every day at the exact same time? Do you remember how, as a child, you found a hidden camera in the toy bunny? How do you know all this? I read your file. My what? You've got a folder at the FIA almost as thick as the leader. But that's a conversation for another time. So my entire trip here was one big lie. What about the conference where we met? I wrote the invitation. And the inspection at the airport? That was a random occurrence. Not everything could be controlled. We only found out about Vlad's plans recently. What about the leader's head of security? The one I freed from the hotel? That's one of the leaders of the resistance. I don't know how I should feel about this. You used me like... Like a tool. Like a tool that gets used! I'm sorry, Evan. I only hope you can forgive us. Forgive me. It's for the greater good. We've got bigger problems to worry about. What do we do now? Since you warned the leader, Vlad's plan isn't going to work. The element of surprise is gone. Wait. I think I have an idea. While escaping the prison, I heard that the signal to begin the attack on the leader will be the detonation of his statue in the courtyard. Do you think we can... Yes! Let's hit the leader and get those mad dogs after us. Then... We'll run to the station and stop the train carrying everyone who was arrested. Let's get to it! Just, please, don't pull a Leroy Jenkins. It worked. The loading tray working like a charm. I don't know if these huge machines were supposed to be used against the revolutionaries or the leader, but Vlad didn't bring them down here for nothing. Easy peasy Japanesey. Here, doggy, have some sausage. Commander, find out what's going on in the courtyard and arrest those responsible for that noise. <sighs> Turn off the security system. It's too sensitive. Do something about it. Comrade! Over here! Follow me! To the leader's chambers! have had enough. In this country, I decide who thinks what. Not for long. Exactly. Without me, this country will fall. It will flourish. I couldn't care less about the country. Drop your weapon. Drop yours, traitor. That's an order. 
in the name of the people of Matryoshka. Oh, look who it is. Ha <laughs> I won't fall for that. Neither will I. You all deserve each other. I'm here, Anna. Just in time. Do you have a weapon? Uh, I only have an unloaded gun. I'm disappointed in you, Ivan. You stand with traitors instead of defending your family? Family? My family? I knew all along. Ivan, meet your twin brother, Vlad. Brother? Twin? I thought he was just my doppelganger. You are? Uh, no, you. That idiot can't be my brother. That thug can't be my brother. I'm sorry, Evan. But it's true. Wait. So if he's my brother, and he's also the son of the leader's brother, then I'm also the son of the leader's brother. That is, his nephew. A real genius, that one. Idiot. Boys, don't fight. Ivan, go see where my security went, and get them here this instant. You'll get Vlad's position and everything he's accumulated over the years. You must be dreaming. You're dead, uncle. Major Orlova, shoot the leader at once. That's in order. Both of you, drop your weapons and surrender. And maybe we'll only sentence you to life. The nerve. So stupid. I, I don't want to be his nephew. Or his brother. You don't choose your family. <laughs> yeah, you do. Evan, shoot the old man, and I'll make you my right-hand man. Don't trust him. I know. I'm counting to three in my head, and then I'm firing. My fingers starting to itch. Evan, do something! Are you there? Uh, yes. Everything okay? I just got a little stunned. But those two are going to be out for a while. Are you gonna be okay? Can I go rescue the prisoners from execution? Yes. Hurry. But be careful. Uh, stop the train! Now! Yes, Comrade Minister. Uh, and one more thing. Can I contact Army Command on this radio? Yes, Comrade Minister. Putting you through now. This is Army Command awaiting orders, Comrade Minister. In the name of the leader, I order you to cease all military operations at once. All troops are to immediately return to the barracks. The arrested revolutionaries are to be set free. Set free? But... Comrade Leader has declared universal Amnesty! Universal amnesty? Yeah! Did you hear what the minister said? They let our relatives out of prison! <laughs> oh, forgive me, Comrade Minister, I, I just Don't apologize, General. Just go. Yes, Comrade Minister, sir. Phew. 
breath away from disaster. <sighs> I think everything's finally on the right track. Vlad and the leader have been knocked out. The people of Matryoshka are taking matters into their own hands. The prisoners have been rescued. And the humble journalist, Evan Kowalski, is still in one piece. Even though I lost my favorite jacket and Matryoshka turned out to be completely different from how it was described in the books, I'll fondly remember this adventure. At least I learned something from all of this. What I really learned is that not everything has a price, because sometimes what we're looking for is not on any store shelf. Be careful what you wish for, it might come true. I traveled far from home to see the most wonderful place in the world. Instead, I found people crawling over dead bodies to get what they want. But I also found hope. People with big hearts and courage. Together, we achieved unbelievable things. We've taken that hope past the borders that seemed unbreachable before. It's nice to finally rest knowing that the world now stands united and safe.